King's Daughters Medical Center and Brookhaven Urology are pleased to announce the addition of Dr. Joel Duff to their medical staff. Dr. Duff specializes in general urology, kidney stones, men's and women's urological health, and diagnosing and treating urologic cancers. Don't let these health issues restrict your lifestyle and keep you from enjoying life with your family and friends. Dr. Duff and the staff at Brookhaven Urology are here to serve your needs. To make your appointment, call 601-833-5713 today. What's it feel like after a game like that? You know, it was a pretty frustrating game most of the game. <clears throat> and you got to tip your hat to the Tulane. They played a great game and made it feel like they were making plays all over the field. And, um, you know, the ninth inning comes down not to the Luke Hancock bomb, which was great, but it was, you know, Rowdy Jordan getting a big two-strike hit and Scotty DeBrule. And, you know, if you can get that atmosphere in the ballpark going, it uh, makes it really hard to pitch. And uh, then Luke takes advantage of it there at the end. So. Uh, Really happy for our guys, man. They fought all day long. They never put their heads down. They just kept competing, and we had a couple disappointing innings. Um, but just got to keep playing the game, and I thought our guys did that. David? Yeah, playing off that, Coach, uh, the offense, they kept making contact, then it goes back to last night, and Tulane seemed to have their fielders positioned perfectly. What was different in the last couple of innings that balls just started finding gaps? I, if I knew that, I'd, man, I'd be coaching the Yankees probably. So that's a, it's just the game that we play, and you just got to keep competing against it and putting balls in play. And um, I, I thought Rowdy's at bat was huge. I mean, Rowdy, I mean, getting that ball and putting it in play, and um, we did. We hit a lot of hard hit balls, and you got to give them credit. Their shortstop made two unbelievable plays. Their third baseman, their right fielder. I mean, those guys were playing with a lot of confidence today, and I, I think. Uh, and then we had some bad at bats in some big inning spots. So. Um, just glad we were able to put it together at the end. Also related to that, uh, your lineup, you had Logan Tanner in the cleanup spot. Was that kind of a to avoid bunching your righties and lefties or to mix things up? Well, yeah, because we knew they had that lefty side armor in there. So we're just trying to space our righties really more than anything. So somebody you saw with Cameron James, we backed him in there and then that, he had to face Cameron and Cameron hits a home run. So, um, you know, trying to just to match up to that different arm in their in their bullpen. Steve? Uh, Coach, you moved Scotty to really up to uh, second hole, and uh, it's like you performed pretty well today. Had that great bunt single, and then kind of moves low, Rowdy around late. How do you feel like he performed, and do you anticipate him kind of maybe staying there? Yeah, you know, um, I had backed him down and hit him a little later in the lineup, and I, I think he got into a little bit of plus swing mode, just swing, swing, swing. And, you know, he's a guy that's hit in the middle of the order or front of the order his whole life. and. You know, I thought he had two great walks today, too. He had that walk in the first in front of Tanner. And, you know, we need some guys to move the lineup along. And I thought he did that. And he was a lot more selective. And uh, the bump for hit was huge. I mean, we need to be able to show that we can do some different things. So um, he'll hit, you know, he'll bounce around some. But I was really pleased with where he hit today. Uh, coach, we saw uh, Rowdy Tour start that uh, start the rally off there in the ninth. Uh, we've seen him kind of step into a larger leadership role here uh, early in the season. Uh, is that something that was kind of expected coming in, or was that more of an organic thing? Uh, just Rowdy kind of uh, uh, make uh, someone his. It's just the maturation process, really. I mean, like you said, it's just being an older player, been through it. Um, playing good baseball, and, and um, I think that just comes with time. You see it with Tanner Allen. You see it with Josh Hatcher. Um, we're starting to see it with some of these younger pitchers on our staff, like Landon Sims. Um, you know, the problem with you know our pitching, we're, we're, we're very talented, but we're not very experienced. So we're, we're fighting some growing pains there, too, um, with some of our guys, and everybody's trying to figure it out. But um, the way Landon Sims pitches, that's pretty impressive. Tyler? Yeah, Chris, I just asked Luke the same thing, but for a while there, it looks like you guys are staring at a serious defeat, and then all of a sudden it changes in the blink of an eye. What does that do for your ball club to be able to go into Sunday with the series tied at one and have a chance to win it tomorrow? Yeah, you know, I told him before the game we'd we'd learn a lot about our team this weekend. After you lose the opening night, we didn't we didn't. We brought nowhere near the intensity that we brought today, which was disappointing yesterday. And so um, we're figuring out things as a young ball club. And the thing you're seeing in college baseball is, man, the level is so high right now. And so, um, you know, I know Tulane's not in the SEC, but that's a really good ball club. And we're facing really good arms. And um, so I think figuring out our team and, and taking that momentum into tomorrow I think is huge because, uh, man, it makes you feel a lot better when you win.
Joel? Going back to the beginning of the game, Chris, uh, Eric <laughs> kind of showed some of the same things that we've seen from him in the past. Uh, last year had, had a few uh, control issues and things. Just how, how much do you figure that was just uh, him kind of getting a late start to his year and just kind of uh, – I don't know. Maybe I don't know if he's a week behind everybody or not. I don't know if that's fair to say, but just kind of your analysis of, of of his outing today. Well, yeah, his last two weeks have been choppy. I mean, we, you know, we gave the ice storm. He has to pitch inside, and then he misses last week. And then, you know, today was a big day coming out, and he has been, I mean, as good as he can be the the preseason for us. And then coming out, we hadn't seen this piece, so um, hopefully he'll be able to learn from it, work this week. Um, man, slow everything down and just pitch. And when he does, it's electric. So um, I, I feel like it's – I don't feel like that's what we're going to see. I just felt like it was a little – the circumstance, like you said, uh, created it a little bit. David? I know you, you hesitate to put yourself in the mind of a fellow coach, but in the ninth inning with two on, it, it was almost an unintentional, intentional walk of Tanner Allen. Is that a credit to how well Tanner's swigging the ball or a situational thing? Well, I think it's um, a little bit of that. I think they'd had success behind Tanner. So you're trying to and, – and when you have two guys on, I guess that's the winning run. But I, they weren't going to give him a really good pitch to hit. In the ballpark, if you got a hold of a ball today, the ball would go out. So I, I think they were being very careful with Tanner, and um, LT made them pay for it. Ben? Chris, I mean, we know we saw what Landon can do in Texas last week, but just what he was able to do today and sort of keep this thing together and keep it tight. Just what can you kind of say about his performance and what kind of he gets you out of that bullpen right now? Well, right now he's our best guy, just attacking the zone and attacking the hitters and going after. I love the pace. Obviously, the stuff is great, but uh, you have to hit him the score to be able to do. And he is just going right after guys. And as a staff, we're probably struggling in that area a little bit where we've been nibbling and, and fighting the zone a little bit and um, it's fun to play behind him there's a good pace to the game and I mean shoot he's punching out a bunch of them too so that helps but um, he like I said before the year he's kind of our x factor because you know probably our three starters were getting all the hype but he's pitched as well as anybody Joel Chris, uh, do you have any idea what you may do pitching-wise tomorrow? And if it's not Will Bedner, do you have an update on, on Will and, and uh, where he's kind of at? Well, yeah, we're TBA right now still. Will is day-to-day, -day, so we're just watching him. Like I said, I don't think it's anything serious or long, but um, we'll come to the ballpark and kind of assess everything in the morning. You'll probably see a handful of arms, you know, during the day. But, um, you know, that's kind of where we're at. We'll take one more question for Coach. Questions? Look like they're done. All right, All right. thank you, thank Coach. You. Thank you.